Hey guys, this is actually a video of a review of the all new iPad. Um, so far I've used it for about a week or so, a couple of weeks, and I've really, really been enjoying it. Um, I find that I've actually been using it more than my MacBook Pro or my Mac Pro or any of my other computers, and I've actually been using this the most, and I'm very impressed by it. Um, I'd say the best part about it is it's it's the best for browsing the internet. Um, in case you don't remember, this is the 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi and 3G model. See the 3G by the uh, signified by the black antenna on the back. So there's a um, review. Of the, you can see the case there. This is actually a speaker. So and then there's is the connection for the um, camera SD card slot or power or projector connector or whatever you want it to be. Um, with all the adapters available at the Apple Store. Um, I've been using the case too, but I'm not going to include that in review because I just ordered a Griffin case, uh, which is leather instead, which should replace the uh, cheaply made Apple case. There's the SIM card. It is a mini SIM card. Yes, a uh, few people have asked. Phone jack, and obviously your uh, unlock. And then on this side, there's nothing except for the uh, power um, and. Um, this little switch you flip if you don't want to if you want to lock the screen the way in a certain position. So other than that, it's a 10-inch screen LED backlit. You know the most. So you can see here, this button right here makes it for an instant photo slideshow if you want. Um, I haven't been using that. So you can see here the battery percentage, just like the 3GS. Um, I'm using AT&T there, so you can see. So basically, this is the home screen. Uh, those are your basic apps right there that come with it. And then Safari, Mail, Photos, iPod. And I have a few more apps. I haven't downloaded a whole lot lately. Um, one of my favorites is Pages um, for the iPad. I still need to download Numbers and Keynote. Um, actually, it looks like this Keynote right there. Um, uh, so here's some other stuff. Um, a lot of the apps are pretty good. The Netflix app is great for the iPad. Um, lots of them are really good. Um, basically, there's some silly games that are on there, and I haven't really put a whole lot on yet. But um, yeah, the the games are great. Uh, YouTube, very very nicely designed app. Um, so and then uh, movies is nice. Um, your Google Maps. I'm not going to use it now because it'll show you where I live. But um, in your in your settings, which is very uh, detailed as well. There's a lot to choose from in the settings. In the settings there's a lot to choose from, a lot of customization you can do the here. The web browsing is just the best. I mean the on-screen keyboard is, I prefer this to the keyboard dock. Um, I actually have an extra wireless keyboard right there that I was going to use with it and I decided not to even bother. Um, the on-screen keyboard is much better. It's very easy to type on quickly. I like it a lot. I can actually find I type faster on this than my uh, de novo or any other keyboard I have. Um, also, the uh, si the the keyboard, the smaller keyboard, is still pretty good to type on, but it is a lot harder. Um, I much prefer the other uh, way. Um, so that's that. And um, there's a few other things that are very great about it. Um, I'm disappointed there's no camera. The light sensor is really nice. It dims, but I find that there's sometimes when I want it dimmer that it can actually go. Like if I'm in a movie theater or something, and before the movie starts, and there's always the previews, I'd like to, I'd like to you know, browse the internet for a few minutes and not disturb people around me. So, whatever. And um, mail app is pretty good. I like the new mail. I show my email because I have tons of emails in there with my names and my friends on there, so I really don't want to get that involved. Um, but basically, it's very easy to set up a mail account just in system preferences. Um, other than that, um, iPod is one of the other great things about the iPad is the, um, actually I found that QuickTime, uh, it, it has QuickTime support, which is really nice. Um, also, that Sketchbook Pro is pretty cool, uh, made by Autodesk. Um, kind of a weird picture there. Basically, I mean, it's, it's like a notepad. It's pretty fun. Um, there's a lot of really great apps. Um, I wish that they, uh, there, there, there needs to be more apps for it. Um, the battery life is fantastic. Um, it really lasts a long time. and I, I'm not exaggerating. Apple certainly for once did not over exaggerate like they did on the new i7 MacBook Pro. I still get two hours out of that thing. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, I, I have to say it, it takes me about 
in even six or seven hours of solid use, and I'm uh, in, I'm at what, fifty five percent. So that, I mean that's pretty good. Um, also, I have my brightness at halfway, in case you're wondering. Um, and yeah, I've been playing music and stuff. Um, so the 3G really doesn't do much to the battery. I thought it did, but it actually doesn't. But um, I don't got. I don't want to bore you guys too much. But basically, that's it. If you have some more questions. Uh, just send me a message or check out my new website at www.techmaster77.com and there should be some more information on there. Just check it out. It's a new website that I just got up and running. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and uh, more videos coming soon.